everyone, it's once again Stevie, and um, I know this is extremely late for a lot of you, like extremely, extremely late, um, because this is about a prom dress that I made, but I didn't have time to make a video before prom happened, because I didn't finish making my dress until literally the night before, so um, yeah. Our prom theme had to do with stars and the universe and yeah. So I decided that why not make a galaxy slash Doctor Who themed dress to match the galaxy Doctor Who-ish themed prom. So this is my prom dress that I made from scratch. Um, I have a had a McCall's pattern, I think it was, that I based it off of, um, and of course I modified it because the original dress was much shorter and I made it into a full length ball gown, so, um, yeah, up here it's just typical corset top, um, made out of some stretchy satin, um, and I embellished it with some of these little crystals that I had to tack on, like, in between the spaces, I don't know if you can see, but it's sewn in between the spaces, um, and that's how I made the, the top. Um, the bottom is this, like, sheer purple iridescent fabric that I glued some Swarovski crystals, or Swarovski, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but those crystals into, um, this actually was why I was finishing it the day before prom, um, I had glued some of these on, and the newspaper stuck to it. Yeah. So I, I was picking newspaper and icky gems off my dress the night before the dance, which was amusing. Um, <laughs> and then I have this um, circular Gallifreyan little flower pin ribbon that my mom made for me. And if I'm correct, the circular Gallifreyan says Allons-y, and if you don't know what circular Gallifreyan is, it is a Doctor Who thing. Um, I know not everyone watching this is going to be a Doctor Who fan, but, you know, I was basing my dress off Doctor Who, so, um, the skirt is this sheer fabric, and then underneath, the, um, the slip of the skirt is actually underneath it's satin again but I don't know if you can tell it is sparkle satin so that underneath the dress you can't really tell this camera isn't picking it up but underneath the fabric it it looks like little stars so on the back of the dress if I can flip it over um, I just have regular zipper and then a hook and eye at the top and then the belt um there's hook and eyes that close it otherwise it was just impossible to sew if I couldn't do that um and then I just used some of the same ribbon for the sash bow thing and I used it as the straps um as for the shoes I <laughs> I got them um on sale at Charlotte Russe for, I think it was like five bucks, and they were originally just black Converse, and I took some acrylic paint and I painted them myself. And for you Doctor Who fans, I even wrote Bad Wolf on the side. Um, I will link the tutorial for um, the video that I watched on how to paint my shoes in the description box. Um, for my garter, I did a Doctor Who garter, and, um, unfortunately there isn't a video you can watch for this one. Um, this one I just kind of, I wung it, wung it, winged it, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I watched, like, a bunch of tutorials on how to do a bow like this, which I think I'll link one in the description box. And, um, if I find a garter tutorial that's similar, I'll link it in the description box, too. And it's just the same blue fabric as the dress, and then the same, like, sheer stuff. And then I had a black cardigan that I wore with my dress, so I tied it in with, um, the black cardigan and the silver crystals. And then, of course, I have my TARDIS. 
And then last but not least is my purse. Um, I know it's humongous, but um, they weren't going to let me get into the dance in Converse, so I had to wear heels there and then put them in my bag and bring my shoes in and then change because my school's ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I made this by scratch too, and it ties in the rose, the roses from the garter and on my cardigan because it was like a lacy rose black cardigan thing. And it's the same fabric as the dress and just a cute little bow and the crystals. And yeah, that's it. Um, my dress actually, oh, I think all of it together with the shoes, the garter, the purse, the embellishments, all of it, I think it was $75 to make the whole thing, which is a lot cheaper than the girls who spend six, seven hundred dollars on their dress. So yeah, go make your own prom dress. It's a way cheaper option. And yeah, that's it.